again, it's a, it's a real pleasure and honor to be here. And I, for purposes of, of introducing her committee, um, I want to turn it over to Holly. But uh, before I do that, I did want to uh, recognize and acknowledge uh, part of the national leadership that's here with us, uh, the co-chair of the Republican National Committee, uh, the Honorable Jan Larimer, a National Committee woman from Wyoming, uh, is here with us. Uh, our treasurer, uh, who may be familiar to many of you, uh, is the chairman of the party here. Um, where is Randy? Randy Pullen. Um, and uh, he's, he's downstairs. <laughs> uh, and our secretary, uh, why are you in the background Sharon there, Day. girl? On, uh, Sharon Day, uh, National Committee woman from Florida. Um, is part of the national leadership that's on the team. But the real work uh, is being done uh, by Holly Hughes, uh, the National Committee woman from Michigan, and her team uh, that uh, has uh, the, the great opportunity to sit down and go through all the information that we have uh, learned today. And I'll, I'll turn it over to you for that, and then I'll come back with some other comments. Thank you, Mr. Yep. Chairman. I'm Holly Hughes, I'm Chair of Site Selection, and I'm the National Committee woman from Michigan. And I serve at the pleasure of the Chairman. He does have influence, and I'm only one vote. But I will say that uh, Phoenix has surprised us in this last day or so. Uh, it's changed a lot in the last 10 to 12 years since I was here last. And you can be very proud of your city. We're very excited about the possibilities of doing possible doing business with Phoenix. Uh, you have some great people here. You've got, you have some great venues, and it's impressive to see how much this city has grown, grown even with all of the economic challenges in our country. I'd like to introduce some of our team. Uh, we have uh, members, two members from each of the four regions in the United States, and so this will be a fair and even process. We have Lily Nunez from Colorado right here, Betsy Wernham from Washington, D.C., and of course you met Jan Larimer, our co-chair from Wyoming, Randy Redrick um, from Alaska. I haven't forgotten you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course you know Mac. He's Mac. one of your own. Uh, Sharon Day, National Committee woman from Florida. She is our secretary. Cindy Costa from uh, South Carolina, National Committee woman. Of course, we have Jenny uh, Haynes from National Committee Woman from New Jersey, Mary Bustrom, National Committee Woman from Wisconsin, with Ruth Ulrich from Louisiana. And did I miss anybody? I think that's yeah, John the, Fry from Connecticut. John Fry here. from Con Connecticut is, is not present with us today, but uh, <laughs> we appreciate you coming. We appreciate Phoenix's interest in holding our national convention, and I think uh, you'll Great. take any questions. Yeah, I will take Chairman? some questions. Before I do, I uh, want to say that uh, I think in all honesty, uh, without hesitation, Phoenix came with their A game today and um, I think did uh, a wonderful job of laying out uh, the city and the opportunities that our committee uh, should consider and will have to consider and certainly uh, they took into account uh, what our expectations are. Um, in terms of the type of convention experience that we want to provide. Uh, as I mentioned to um, uh, the city when we first uh, met and started talking yesterday, uh, Mayor, we want, uh, we want this experience for our delegates to be a delegate experience. Uh, we want this to be the people's convention, and it want, we want it to be uh, reflective of the diversity and the opportunity of this great land. and. Um, certainly here uh, in this region of the country where uh, it is growing, uh, it is uh, certainly uh, seeing um, you know, new ideas and, and new opportunities arise every day. Uh, I think uh, the presentations that we received today really, really reflected that and I'm very, very impressed. So I want to I thank Bob uh, and the host committee for an outstanding, outstanding uh, opportunity to, to learn about Phoenix, to learn a little bit more about Arizona as a state, um, but most especially to, to see the potential of the Republican National Committee uh, hosting and nominating uh, the next uh, Republican nominee for president here uh, at convention in, in Phoenix. So I thank you very much for that opportunity and the members of the host committee. So with that, I will 
answer any questions or the committee will answer any questions you may what have. What do you find is the most striking feature about the city that makes it really attractive? Well, I think one thing that was very attractive that I didn't find a piece of paper on the ground anywhere. So <laughs> I don't know how you manage that, but that, that to me was very, very impressive, number one. Number two was, I think, sort of the open airness of it. I mean, it's just really um, very, very uh, expansive. Uh, and when you look at the grid system that's here uh, and how that can be worked into our plans uh, for um, not only securing our, our venue, but creating that, uh, that uh, convention experience or that delicate experience for uh, our delegates and our visitors, uh, that was very, very impressive as well. I think also when you look at the Sheraton and, and what it brings to the table as uh, one of the, uh, the newest hotels here on the city and, and the, the metro system, uh, whether it's the bus lines or uh, the rail, uh, the light rail, also again very impressive um, in an urban setting. Uh, and you're a little bit ahead of the curve here uh, in that regard because cities are now beginning to take seriously light rail and I know in my, my native uh, town of D.C., uh, they're now turning the light rail and they're starting to figure out where do we put the tracks. Well, you, you guys are a little bit ahead of the ball there, um, and that's, that's also impressive uh, for us. So there are a number of features, I think, and any other committee members want to you know, share their thoughts too, but I think there were another, you know, those were some of the impressive features right out of the box. Are there any uh, politically strategic advantages of hosting your convention? Sure. It's, well? Sure. It's one of the 50 states. <laughs> so that that uh, given given how we've done in in in, uh, in, in recent elections, uh, that presents an a, an optimum strategic political advantage for us. A little bit about the growth. Of, of well, yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I, I was having a little fun there, obviously, but uh, well, yeah, I'm serious too. But the the, <laughs> the, the reality of it is that um, this state, like many of our western and southwestern states, are. Uh, cutting edge in terms of watching the explosion of growth. People are migrating west. People are, um, you know, really uh, sort of resettling in these areas and, uh, and it, they have enormous potential uh, for both parties, quite frankly. Uh, and so we want to be um, certainly cognizant of that. We are. We want to be able to capture that lightning, if you will, in the bottle of a convention and, and that's why we're here. And I think that it's going to be an exciting opportunity to, to be able to have a conversation with America, uh, you know, should we decide to choose uh, Phoenix, uh, that uh, is consistent with how America is moving itself and, and showing that the party is ready to move with America and, quite frankly, prepared to leave. How do we, how do we stack up next to Salt Lake and Tampa? Well, I'll let you know. You're, 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 you're the, the, the first, first one. You're, you're the first step. one. So. <laughs> You're yeah, one very right good now. first impression. <laughs> yeah, what was that? You're number one right now. All right. <laughs> By the way, so, we set the standard. <laughs> actually, yeah, in a lot of ways, that's true. That's very true. And I think yeah. that um, uh, we, we will move on to uh, Tampa Bay uh, this weekend, and then we'll take a break for Easter, and we'll be back in uh, Salt Lake. Uh, but uh, again, that's, it's very impressive, the three cities that have, have come to the table and have um, um, put themselves in competition here and it's just it's interesting because you know I know that in the very beginning you know some of the cities were like well do we or don't we or do we don't and Phoenix kind of jumped in with both feet and really appreciated that and they you know like I said today they came with their A game mayor and right. did a great job uh, and as the mayor of this town and, and certainly uh, for those of you who uh, represent um, uh, this particular area on the host committee uh, should be very very proud. How uh, concerned are you with uh, the heat in August? Uh, it's pretty much hot everywhere. Uh, it's pretty much hot everywhere in August. So, uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's, look, wherever you go, if you're in Tampa, if you're in Utah, if you're, you know, there's, there's going to be issues related to heat. Um, but I think, you know, unless we're actually, you know, going to be nominating folks from, the, you know, from a grassy knoll somewhere in the, in the dead of the sun, I don't think that's going to be so much of a factor. Um, uh, you know, I think the, the goal is to, to be in a place where folks can come and have a good time.